Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would be showing you the subscribe button that you're seeing right now on your screen. How do we get that in Wondershare Filmora? It could be any version of Filmora, it could be 8, 9, even the latest one, which is X, and also the one in the X, which is 10.5, which is working as of now. Also, I'll put a link in the description as well where you can grab that green screen subscribe button. So you just go into the description, you click on the link and you download that particular video. Let's drive straight into my computer and see how can we use that in any of the videos that we want. So that's the interface of Wondershare Filmora that you get. Now, in order to get the subscribe button on the bottom or bottom left or bottom right of your screen, first of all, we'll need a video. Let's say for the purpose of this video, I'll select a sample video from my computer let's say i go with this one once you have the video in your media folder in order to make any sort of changes what we need to do is we need to drag the video onto our timeline so hold that video and then drop it over here and then that's the first time only that it will ask you i always click on key project settings now in here let's say i want to add the subscribe button at the beginning of my video so for example somewhere around here now, if I want to add the subscribe button, first of all, I'll need that video. As I said, the link would be in the description. So you go to that particular video, you click on free download, then you can select the format that you want. I probably would go with 1920 by 1080 and then click on download. Once you click on download, you will see that that video would automatically download. And once it's finished, you go back to your Filmora, you double click on the media folder, you take that video onto our onto your media folder now wherever you want to place that subscribe button you hold that video and then you can drop it on that particular portion now since it's a green screen video obviously you will see that bright green color in order to get rid of it what you need to do is double click on that subscribe video and you will get a lot of options in here you will need to click on chroma key which is the fifth option in the given menu now, once you click on chroma key, you will see that that particular video is gone now. Now, basically what happens is the logic behind that is once you click on chroma key and the selected color is that bright green color, you're kind of giving an indication to Filmora that, hey, wherever you see that bright green color, just get rid of it. So this is what's happening in the background. Now, if you try to play this video, it will look something like this now. This that we have started explaining all the topics in a lot more detail. The link now, two things here. First of all, you would have uh, heard that sound, the ring bell sound. Now, if you do not want that particular sound, what you can do is you can mute this particular video. How do we do it? If you go on that video and here you will see that volume is at zero decibel. So just hold that volume bar and then drop it on to the very bottom minus infinity. Once it's there, you will see that the video is muted now. Another thing is that subscribe button is right in the middle of the video. So if you want to put it on the right hand side or left hand side, depending on wherever you want to place that subscribe button, what you can do is again, double click on this video and it will highlight that entire video on our timeline viewer. So you can simply now drag and hold it from one side and just resize that video like this. So you can basically shrink or expand depending on your preferences. So let's say if I'm happy with this size, you can leave it like this. After that, hold that video from the middle and then again, drag and drop it wherever you want to place that. So for example, if I want to place it onto the bottom left, you can do so by putting it here. And once you leave it, that video would be placed over there. Now, one final thing before I finish this video is if you try to play out this video, you will notice something going on on your screen. So pay very close attention on the bottom left of the screen. I'm playing this video again. The 20 topics that we have started explaining all the topics in a lot more detail. Now, if you would have seen clearly, if you zoom in this video a bit, there's a slight white color transparent background all around this subscribe button. Now there's nothing to be worried about in order to get rid of that that little slight transparent transparent kind of sheet that you can see behind the subscribe button what you need to do is again double click on the video and just one option you need to increase is this option offset now if you play if if you pay close attention if you just increase the offset to a bit and straight away that transparent sheet would be gone it is this simple and then click on okay button now if you try to play out the video again it will look like this 
that we have started explaining all the topics in a lot more detail the latest methods that are working for all of them in today's topic in today's to and that's about it so this is how you get the subscribe button on your video now one quick tip i can give you is if you want to have the subscribe button at multiple positions in your video let's say if you want to have about have that subscribe button about five or six times appearing in the video now you don't have to drag and drop the same video again and again because if you drag and drop the same video again the problem is you have to do the same stuff again so you don't want to do that you don't want to waste a lot of time in this video editing just for this particular part so the easy way would be since we have already made the changes to our subscribe button simply control plus c copy that and then control plus v wherever you want to paste it so so that filmora doesn't kind of manipulate our main video just click on lock icon once you lock that particular video now you can control plus v and you will see that wherever you put your red color marker and you click on control plus v it will keep on pasting that particular video wherever you want so this is how you can do it so i hope you liked this video and hope it was a bit of a useful and helpful information for you and you got what you were looking for and as i said the link for that subscribe button would be in the description so just go at the bottom click on the description click on the link and download that video and do yourself a favor have that subscribe button in most of your videos and trust me that does help whenever you display that subscribe button on the screen whosoever is watching your video will get to know that you want that person to subscribe to you so if they like your content they will definitely subscribe to you afterwards so i hope you find this video useful and helpful if you did do hit that like button and also if you're new up here i keep on posting a lot of videos related to this software and many other software that i get my hands on so do consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up you guys would be the first one to be getting notified about them with that you guys have a lovely day take care stay safe and i will see you guys in the next video